Hello my dear students today we are going to learn about test of divisibility of numbers 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 okay so let's start before that i just want to recall about even and odd numbers as you all know even numbers are 0 2 4 6 8 and so on and odd numbers are 1 3 5 7 9 and so on if you get any number which is more than two digit how you are going to recognize whether that number is an even or odd for that you have to remember the rule as if the number has 0 2 4 6 or 8 on its unit place then that number is an even number and if the number has 1 3 5 or 7 or 9 on its unit place then that number is an odd number now here i am taking an example here i am taking two numbers uh, let's recognize uh, the number is an odd or an even for that we have to focus on its unit place as here we have 6 on its unit place which is even therefore the number 2586 has even number okay and the next number has 5 on its unit place which is odd therefore the number 2875 is an odd number okay now let's move towards the test of divisibility of numbers The first is for two. The divisibility rule for two. Ah, uh, before I'll tell you the rule, I just want you to focus on the table of two. See here, if you uh, look carefully at the table, you will understand that the multiples of two are all even numbers, right? If you extend this table, you will get again the even numbers only as a multiple of two. so the rule of divisib uh, divisibility rule for 2 says that a number is divisible by 2 if it has any of the digits 0 2 4 6 or 8 or in its unit of ones place means the number should be even right so let's uh, check by the example here i am taking these two numbers okay so to check whether the given number 1234 is divisible by 2 we have to check this number is an even or odd as this number has 4 in its unit place this number is an even number and as by the rule this number is divisible by 2 okay now let's check about the second number the second number is 1047 it has 7 on its unit place right so this is an odd number and as by the rule this number is odd number so this is not divisible by 2 okay now let's move to the next divisibility rule that is for 3 now it says that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is multiple of 3 sum of the digits of that number must be multiple of 3 then that number is divisible by 3 uh let's take an example here i am taking two examples so as per the rule let's add the digits of the number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 gives us the answer as 10 which is not multiple of 3 because see here we have 9 as a multiple of 3 as well as 12 as a multiple of 3 but not 10 therefore the number 1234 is not divisible by 3 now let's uh, check for this second example first let's add the digits 1 plus 0 plus 4 plus 7 gives us the answer as 12 which is a multiple of 3 therefore the number 1047 is divisible by 3 okay now let's move to the next divisibility rule that is for 4 it says that a number with three or more digits is divisible by 4 if the number formed by its last two digits that is ones and tens place is multiple of 4 if that number which is formed by last two digit is multiple by 4 then that whole number is multiple by 4 okay so for that you have to remember these multiples of 4 okay till 96 we have 
two digit multiples we should know okay now let's take example here i am taking two examples okay so let's check uh, which number is formed by the last two digit that is 34 and let's check whether the 34 is a multiple of 4 no we have 32 and 36 but not 34 as 34 is not multiple of 4 the number 1234 is not divisible by 4 okay now let's check the, about the second number that is 1076 the last two digit is making 76 as a number and let's check yeah we have 76 as the multiple of 4 therefore the 76 is multiple of 4 therefore the number 1076 is divisible by 4 okay now let's check for the divisibility rule for 5 it's easy if you look at the table of 5 you will understand that see here each and every multiple of 5 has either 5 or 0 at the unit place right if you go on extending you will see that last digit that is ones plus digit has 5 or 0 on its unit place therefore the rule says that a number which has either 0 or 5 in its ones place is divisible by 5 it's very easy rule so let's take examples here i am taking two numbers now uh, we have to just check its unit place here we have 5 on its unit place and therefore the number 2345 is divisible by 5 now here in the second number we have 6 on its unit place we don't have 0 or 5 therefore this number is not divisible by 5 it's very easy now let's move to the next divisibility rule that is for 6 it says that if a number is divisible by 2 and 3 both then it is divisible by 6 also so uh, to check whether the number is divisible by 6 we have to check first it is is it divisible by 2 and 3 it must be divisible by both the numbers okay so uh, why this rule is this way because see here if we check the table of 2 3 and 6 uh, you can understand that see all the multiples of 6 are the multiples of 2 and 3 right if you extend these two tables you will get all these multiples of 6 in the table of 2 and 3 therefore the uh, divisibility by 6 is like this way okay? so let's take example here i am taking these two numbers as uh, for example now first what we have to do we have to check whether this number is divisible by 2 for that we have to check its unit place here we have 5 on its unit place therefore as therefore this number is odd number therefore it is not divisible by 2 now for 3 we have to add the digits 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5 gives us the answer as 15 which is multiple of 3 therefore this number is divisible by 3 but as this number is not divisible by 2 the number 2355 is not divisible by 6 now let's check for the second number here the second number has 6 on its unit place right therefore this is even number therefore it is divisible by 2 Okay, now to for 3, we have to add digits. 1 plus 1 plus 7 plus 6 gives us the answer as 15 which is multiple of 3 and therefore it is divisible by 3 also. Therefore, the number 1176 is divisible by 6. Okay, now let's move to the divisibility rule for 7. It says that if the difference between twice the unit digit of the given number and the remaining part of the given number is multiple of 7 or it is equal to 0 then the number is divisible by 7. It is a bit complicated but it's very easy if you understand by the example. So I am taking here example. Here I am taking two numbers. So first we will apply this rule for the first number as they said we have to find the difference between between what twice the unit digit so first we will uh, twice the unit digit here unit digit is 5 so we will multiply 5 with 2 we get the answer as 10 so we made twice the unit digit and the 
and the num remaining part of the given number. So we have to find the difference between this twice the digit, twice the unit digit and the remaining part of the given number. Here the remaining part is 234, right? Uh, if we uh, remove this unit place, we will get 234, right? So what we have to do, we have to subtract this 10 by 234. Then what we will get? We will get 224. And we have to check now this answer whether it is multiple by 7 or no. But it is too big to understand whether this is multiple by 7 or no. For that, then what we will do? We will again apply this rule for this number 2. Okay. So as per the rule, we have to twice the, double this unit digit. So what we will do? First, we will write 224. Then we will multiply this 4 with 2. We get 8. Now, what we have to do? We have to subtract this 8 from this 22. So, 22 minus 8 gives us 14. And as we know, 7 twos are 14. Right? As this 14 is multiple of 7 as per uh, the rule. Therefore, the number 2345 is divisible by 7. Okay? Now, let's apply this rule for the next number that is 1076. As they said, we have to double this unit place that is 6 to the 12. Okay. Now, we have to subtract this 12 by the remaining part that is 107. So, 107 minus 12 gives 95. And let's check this 95 is a multiple of 7 or no. No, we have 91 but not 95. Therefore, the numbers 1076 is not divisible by 7. Okay. Now, let's move to the divisibility rule for 8. It says that a number with 4 or more digits is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last 3 digits is divisible by 8. Now here we can use this rule for the number which are more than 4 digit number. Okay. So what they say they are saying that if we have the number uh, with more than 4 digit number. What we have to do we have to check last 3 digits uh, by dividing the 8 directly. Okay. So let's take example here I am taking these two numbers as the example. As per the rule, we have to check whether this number which is formed by the last three digit that is 345 gets divided by 8 or no. If it didn't get any remainder, then that number is a divisible by 8. If we get remainder, then it is not divisible by 8. So, let's divide 334 by 8. As you know, 8 fours are 32. So, 34 minus 32 is equal to 2. Okay, now I am taking that 5 down. So, it became 25. So, 8 threes are 24. So, 25 minus 24 gives us the answer as 1. So, we are getting remainder as 1. Therefore, the number is not completely get divided by 8. Therefore, the number 2345 is not divisible by 8. Okay. Now, let's check for the second number that is 1072. Here, we are getting 72 as uh, made formed by the last three digit. So, let's check uh, by dividing 8. Uh, as you all know, 8 nines are 72. So, uh, we won't get any remainder. We are getting zeros. Therefore, the number 1072 is divisible by 8. Okay. Now, let's move to the divisibility rule for 9. It says that if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9, then the number itself is divisible by 9. It is same as the rule of 3. Okay. We have to just add all the digits of the number and we have to check the answer is multiple of 9 or not. Okay. So, let's take an example. Here I am taking these two numbers as example. As per the rule, we will add all the digits. 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 5 you gives us the answer as 29. And we know that 29 is not a multiple of 9. Therefore, the number 7895 that is 7895 is not divisible by 9. Okay. 
Now let's add that second number. The digits of second number that is 2 plus 0 plus 9 plus 7 gives us the answer as 18. Which is a multiple of 9. Therefore, the number 2097 is divisible by 9. Okay. Now let's move to the divisibility rule for 10. It's very easy. If you look at the table of 10. All the multiples of 10 have 0 on its unit place, right? And if you extend this, you will get again zeros at the unit place. Therefore, the rule says that if a number which has 0 in its 1's place is divisible by 10. If you have any number which has 0 on its unit place, then that number is divisible by 10. Now, I am taking here two examples. See here, in the first number, we have 0 on its unit place. Therefore, the number 2340 is divisible by 10. But here in the second number, we have 6 on its unit place, not 0. Therefore, the number 1076 is not divisible by 10. Okay. Now, let's move to the next rule that is divisibility rule for 11. It says that the difference between the sum of the digits and odd places from the right and the sum of digits and even places from the right of the number, the, if the difference is either 0 or divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. Okay. So, it is a bit complicated. But if you understand with the help of example, it will be very easy. I'll explain you. See here. I am taking here the example as 2345. Okay, what they are saying, we have to find the difference between what the sum of the digits are the odd places. So, from the right, okay. So, we will add the digits which are present at the odd places. Which are those? Those are 2 and 4, uh, which are present on the odd places. That is first place and third place, okay. So, let's add these two digits. Sum of digits of odd places is 2 plus 4 gives 6. Okay. Now, we have to do, now what we have to find? We have to find the sum of the digits at even places. Now, here even places are second and fourth. Okay. So, let's add these two. Sum of digits of even places is 3 plus 5 gives 8. Okay, now what we have to do? We have to find the difference between these two. So, difference is 8 minus 6 gives 2. And we have to check whether this difference is multiple of 11 or 0. It must be 0 or multiple of 11. But it is not. It is 2 which is not a multiple of 11 or it is not 0. Therefore, the number 2345 is not divisible by 11. Okay. I'll take one more example. I am taking here the number 1331. Now, first what we have to do? We have to find the sum of the digits of odd places. Here, odd places is first and third place. We have 1 and 3. So, we will add it. We got the answer as 1 plus 3 is 4. Now, what we have to do? We have to find the sum of the digits of even places. Even places is 2 and fourth place. Okay. So, sum of digits of even places is 3 plus 1 gives 4. Now, we have to find the difference between them. Difference is equal to 4 minus 4 gives 0. As per the rule, we got 0. Therefore, the number 1331 is divisible by 11. Okay. Now, here we end up our rules which I have um, till 11. Okay. I have gathered here... Uh, the rule with example see here the first rule is for 2 that is if the unit place of the number is even then that number is divisible by 2 okay so here I am taking the example as 3276 we have 6 on its un unit place therefore this number is even number therefore the number is divisible by 2 okay now the rule for 3 says that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is multiple of 3. Now, here I am taking the same number. Then uh, I added the digits. I got the answer as 18 which is multiple of 3. Therefore, this number is divisible by 3. Okay. Now, here I am giving you the rule for 4. 
दैट इज अंबर विथ थ्री और मोर डिजिट इज डिविजिबल बाय फोर इफ द नंबर फॉर्म बाय इट्स लास्ट टू डिजिट्स That is ones and tens is multiple of four. Okay, so here I am taking the number as seven thousand two hundred and twenty-four, and the last two digits is forming twenty-four, which is multiple of four. Therefore, this number is divisible by four. Now the rule for five is a number which has either zero or five in its ones place, then it is divisible by five. So here I am taking the number as Five thousand six hundred and twenty, which has zero on its unit place, therefore it is divisible by five. Now the rule for six is: if a number is divisible by two and three both, then it is divisible by six. Now here I have taken the number three thousand two hundred and seventy-six, which is divisible by two as well as divisible by three. Therefore the number three thousand two hundred and seventy-six is divisible by six. Okay. Now the rule for seven is: if the difference between twice the unit digit of the given number and the remaining part of the given number is multiple of seven, or it is equal to zero, then the number is divisible by seven. So here I have taken the number with explanation. See, here the number is one thousand twenty-nine. The last digit I have doubled. I got 18, and I subtracted this 18 from the remaining part of the number that is 102. I got 84, which is multiple of 7. 7 twelve is 84. Therefore, the number is divisible by 7. Now, the rule for 8 is a number with four or more digits is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last three digit is divisible by 8. Now here I took uh, I took the number as one hundred and one thousand one hundred and twenty. By the last three digit I got one hundred and twenty, which can be divided by eight and got fifteen as answer. Therefore, the number one thousand one hundred and twenty is divisible by eight. Now the rule for nine is if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by nine, then the number itself is divisible by nine. Same as the rule of three. So here I am taking the number as two thousand four hundred and fifty-seven. When we add the digits, we got answer as eighteen, which is multiple of nine. Therefore, the number is divisible by nine. The next rule is for ten. It's very easy. A number which has zero in its ones place is divisible by ten. Therefore, I am taking here the uh, number as one thousand four hundred and fifty, which has zero on its unit place. Therefore, this number is divisible by ten. The rule for eleven is the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places and the sum of the digits at even places of the number. If the difference is either zero or divisible by eleven, then the number is divisible by eleven. So I am taking here the number two thousand five hundred and fifty-two. Uh, if we add the sum of the odd places, we get the answer as seven. Sum of the even places is given seven. The difference is zero. Therefore, the number is divisible by eleven. Okay. So here, all the rules for the uh, divisibility I've given with examples. If you didn't understand any rule or if you have any doubt about this, you can ask me in the comment box. I'll explain you. Okay. If you like my teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, everyone.